YouTube, what's the word? It's your boy Glory Boy J back here again with yet another YouTube video. And today I just pulled up to the mall. I'm finna be doing a little day in the life per usual. You know what I'm saying? I just record my life, record what I be on. Today I got a few things I gotta do, so I'm gonna bring y'all with me. Right now I put up to the mall. I'm about to go inside, go check out H and M, Paxson, uh, Foot Locker, Champs, and Macy's and K Jewelers. I'm looking for some jewelry. I'm looking to get a ring soon. I want to get a ring, y'all. Y'all comment down below what type of jewelry I should get. I'm also looking for some gold jewelry because I have a lot of silver jewelry and I kind of want to try out gold jewelry. So I'm going to try that out. But uh, make sure I hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, comment down below more videos y'all want to see from me and I'm going to get them done for you. Here's the fit we got today. I'll show y'all a little bit later when I can, but I got a few errands I got to run today in the gym and I'm going to be shopping. So it's basically a little shopping vlog. So if y'all enjoy the video, make sure you smash that like button. I'm gonna catch y'all inside. It's right now. It's a little open. I got a Tesla. Now I gotta go find the store. There's an H&M right here. I might just check it out real quick. But uh, bro, the malls do not have anybody here anymore, bro. The malls used to be lit. Now I never see anybody going here. Y'all comment down below and let me know if you feel that way too because I feel like this bitch be empty. Look at this, bro. Nobody's here, bro. Like, this shit is crazy as hell. The mall used to be popping. Y'all, first stop H&M. Look at these hoes right here. These are low-key fire as fuck. This is even fire. What does it say? Harlem? Nah. But these... Yo, I can make these work low key, but I'm not. I'm, I'm gonna look around real quick. I don't want to get too. I don't want to get too excited and just start buying shit. You feel me? But I'm low key looking just for some simple shit, y'all. So, follow me online. Yeah, y'all. Yeah, I'm not really seeing anything in H and M. To be honest, they got this long sleeve thick neck whatever right now i showed you guys a few things they got the white tee i'm probably gonna get uh the white tee they got some what else do they have they had another t-shirt that said something on it, it said like la brea it's like a simple ass t-shirt though and then this this beanie right here is tough but i'm gonna get that stuff together it's a few items probably be like 80 dollars 100 dollars i'll show you what i get from every store when i get back home but i'm just showing y'all a few things i might get so you guys make sure you stay to the end when I get home. I'm gonna show you everything I got. So now I gotta find check out. I'm gonna gather everything I'm gonna be getting and then go to check out. Alright y'all, back secured at H&M, now I gotta go check out Foot Locker and Champs and a few jewelry spots and some other shit, so I'm gonna bring y'all along with the ride, like I said, I'm gonna show y'all everything that I get at the end when I get home. Y'all, I just checked out That's okay. Harry Richie's and they ain't having nothing bro, none of their jewelry was busting, so Tech K Jewelers, they ain't even having nothing either, so... All right, y'all, this is why I need to move states. Because every time I go to the mall and I look to get something, they don't have shit. Every time. Like, the champs barely even had Nike Techs. Everything else in there is ass. I need to just start messing with the streetwear brands, bro. Y'all, I just went inside that place right there that I just showed you. And I was talking to the lady in there, and she does custom print work, y'all. So basically, I could bring a hoodie there, get any logo, any type of print, anything I want put on there, and she can make it for me for a small price, bro. Isn't that crazy? Like, that's a game changer since I have a clothing brand. Like, I could bring a beanie. Like, this is my beanie right here for my brand, right? I could take a beanie in there, and she could print this on the beanie. You feel me? Or, like, embroider on a hat or something. 
But yeah, that's crazy. I don't know. I just, I just was talking to her and she was telling me that, and I was like, that's insane. I was like, so I could bring my own jacket and you can print something on it, like my logo. She was like, yeah, we can do any anything custom, any custom logos. I was like, oh yeah, we lit. But okay, so you, you guys just saw the scenery change. I'm in Macy's right now. Looking at, there's beanies right here, but it's about to be summer. I really don't need beanies. I'm honestly looking for cologne and jewelry. So that's what I'm gonna be looking for. Cologne, jewelry, and maybe, maybe some underwear to be honest. I got some. Decent, decent underwear over here. And white beaters, actually. Do they have white beaters? If I can find white beaters here, I'll be straight. No cap. Polo sweats. Polo white beaters. No, 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 no. Uh, Calvin Klein socks. Do they have Calvin Klein underwear, though? That's what I need, bro. Here's white beaters right here, but they do not. Oh, here's black. Gray, black, six, medium, 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 medium. How big is it? Bro, I can't even see the size on there. That's wicked. They have any over here. Yo, they have no Calvin Klein underwear here, bro. That's crazy as hell. I'm surprised they had no Calvin Klein underwear, bro. I got some on right now, and they're so comfy, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. I was trying to find them. They don't got them. I get them from Nordstrom's. If you guys know what Nordstrom's are, that's is that's where I get my uh, that's where I get most of my like essentials from when it comes to like underwear and socks and shit. Look at this, bro. I'm at Macy's right now by myself, bro. Don't be afraid to go do shit by yourself, bro. When it comes to this world, you gon' you gonna die alone, the same way you was born alone, bro. So, do things by yourself here and there, bro. Enjoy time by yourself. You don't always got to be surrounded by people. You know what I'm saying? Go outside and go eat by yourself or something. Like, after this, I'm going to probably go eat by myself because I'm hungry. And I ain't with nobody. So, don't be afraid to go do stuff by yourself, bro. Get out there. <laughs> Look at her. She's like, I do not want to move. <laughs> can say that I have noticed recently about life and stuff is let's see go over here hold on I was gonna say where's the exit bro how the hell I'm trying to get back out to oh don't be afraid to window shop bro when it comes to window shopping you gotta see it before you achieve it you feel me but basically you gotta you gotta see it before you achieve it bro you gotta you gotta see it and want it to be able to obtain it before you can just have it you feel me a lot of the things that you finna obtain in life are through the thought of you already having it, you feel me? So you just gotta go get it when it comes to that type of shit, bruh. These niggas ain't got no essentials, cuz. Nigga, they do got essentials, but they literally have two things, bro. Fucking hoodie and a fucking t-shirt. Y'all, Paxson did not have shit either, bro. Like, what the fuck is going on with this boy? The mall just don't got nothing no more, bro. Especially here. The city that I'm in, I don't really expect much from them. But still, like, come on, bro. I'm going to low-key take off right now, bro. I'm not finding anything that I like at the mall at all, bro. Because there ain't shit here. All I got is what's in this H&M bag. And that's literally it. So, we're going to go to the next destination. Stay tuned though, y'all. We got a bunch of places we gotta run today, a bunch of things, a bunch of things we're gonna be talking about and shit. So stay tuned still. Alright, y'all, I'm back in the whip. I gotta hit up a few more places before I go to the gym and stuff. So I gotta go to GNC to get my creatine. I gotta go get my uh wife beaters and conditioners and stuff from Walmart. And I need to go eat, bruh. So I'ma low-key go hit up uh Jimmy John's real quick. Give me a little sandwich, bro, to fill me up before I go to the gym a little bit later. But I'm gonna bring y'all with me, bro. If y'all enjoyed the little video so far, I went shopping, got a few things at H&M, nothing really else, bro. I wasn't able to get anything else. Like, they didn't have any clothes that I was messing with. 
that's what i'm saying y'all if you guys are looking to shop shop with these streetwear brands who actually build a connection with you and actually like are happy that you're shopping with them you feel me when you go to h&m or you go to nike or you go to even designer especially designer like you're not gonna get anything in return bro like they is not gonna mess with you like you think they do you feel me like you spend thousands hundreds of thousands of dollars on these clothes and they don't care they're getting rich these people who have brands like me if you buy my beanie i'm gonna be excited because you're putting money in my pocket and you're helping my that yeah, you're helping me grow my brand once their brands are already grown they don't care about people buying from it anymore they've already made you feel me they've already made what they needed to so shop with these smaller brands nowadays bro i'm telling you like they're gonna be on the come up here soon they already are on the come up you see all these influencers and all these famous people in streetwear brands they barely even wear designer anymore like so make sure y'all doing that bro tap in with the streetwear brands tap in with my brand link in the bio down below and i'm gonna go get some food right now we're gonna run to jimmy john's grab a little john eat some and then we're gonna get the rest of these errands taken care of I got the chips and I got the sandwich, y'all. I got a little sandwich because I'm about to go to the gym. I'm still going to feast, though. Bag secured, bro. Bag secured. I got that turkey tom, number four, turkey tom, and I got mayo with pickles, all that. Y'all, I set the camera up here just so I can feast this real quick, bro. I'm going to keep hungry as hell. But I was just gonna talk to y'all a little bit about uh, the brand and shit, bro. I got some new stuff coming. Let me open this real quick. Look, this is what I always do whenever I'm filming because obviously I'm not gonna film inside like me just talking to the camera while people watching me, whatever. I get food and then I go around the corner and I just film right there in the car, right? But I gotta go back and get a drink, bro. When I'm done with this, no cap, I gotta go back. So good thing I parked close because I'm thirsty now. But I'm about to eat this real quick. You're gonna see it turning from this to nothing, bro. Within a few seconds, bro. Look, I'm gonna snap. Man, it's all gone, bro. All I got is the chips. Also, you know what I realized, bro? As I was eating that, I was thinking like, I can't go back in there and get a drink, bro. <laughs> if I walk back in there, they're going to be like, where was this dude? Like, was he just sitting outside the whole time, came back in? Like, you know what I'm saying? I can't just make sure I ain't got nothing in my teeth, bro. But I can't just go back in there, bro. I'm like, yeah, can I get a water, actually, bro? Like, and it's been 30 minutes, 30 minutes, 20 minutes since I last went in there. You know what I'm saying? I can't do that, bro. So next, I was going to go to Walmart, but that's like low-key on the way home. You feel me? So... I'm going to go and I got to make this TikTok in this fit. I've been doing these outfit of the day videos lately. I've just been like recording my outfit, whatever I wear that day. You feel me? So I'm going to go record one of those. Usually I'll be doing it downtown just because there's more scenery, more people, more engagement. You feel me? So go down there and do that. I'll record me doing that if I can. If not, I'll just show you kind of what I do. But I'm going to go downtown, do that. I'm going to also check out this one place called The Checkpoint. They have a few clothes, a few type of shoes there. It's like a resale store. It's downtown, so I'm going to go check that out also. I'll bring y'all with me, obviously. If you guys are enjoying the vlog, you know what I'm saying? I'm just chilling, talking to y'all, seeing what y'all got going on. Obviously, we a family. I be talking to y'all like y'all my friends, bro. Even though there's only like a thousand of y'all, we going to grow, bro. So hit that subscribe button, and we going to grow together. Like, I promise you, I'm going to get active for y'all once I move, and I really get going and working on my brand and really working on my influencing and my personal brand and linking up with creators and stuff like that. It's going to be turnt, bro. So when I get there... Just bear with me right now. We're in a cold stage, bro. But if you subscribe now, you're going to catch it early. You feel me? Like, you're going to catch the train early. You're not going to be on the bandwagon later when I'm blowing up, bro. I promise you. Like, hit that subscribe button now. We're going to turn up. And I'm going to catch you on the rest of the video. Let's get it. Looking for me, one of the errands I got to run is literally right across the street. Like, y'all, it is actually seven minutes away walking. I can walk there and be there in seven minutes. That's how far it is. It's literally, like down the street two seconds and then across the street so i'm gonna go to gnc real quick get my creatine i'll show you guys what protein mix i use there if you guys work out and you're trying to gain weight watch this right now because i'm finna put you on i promise you i've gained the most weight doing this and i mean you can eat and stuff like that but i also smoke weed y'all know me i be blowing down 
this helps me gain while I'm also being able to smoke, you feel me? So I'm gonna show you guys when I get there. The creatine, you guys can take it if you want to, but it's really just a supplement. It just adds like a little bit to your physique and stuff. You can if you want, you don't have to, but it does boost and enhance your uh, workouts and stuff. So that's up to y'all, but the, the protein, you guys need protein in your life. Ooh, the earrings is going crazy. But listen, I, um, what was I about to say? Oh, I've been using this protein powder for the past, like, five months, bro. And it's been working. Everybody be asking me, how you gain weight? How you been getting so big? How you blah, blah, blah. So I'm about to put y'all on, bro. Stay tuned for the rest of the video. Another thing with the gym, bro. One thing that a lot of people do not want to hear, and the reason why they don't go to the gym, is because they're lazy and they're unmotivated. People who don't go to the gym are lazy and unmotivated, bro, because if you're skinny, you should want to get bigger. If you're fat, you should want to get skinnier. It's just like, it's just something that we all should want to be. We should all want to be healthy, you feel me? Like, I'm not body shaming at all, but I'm just telling you, like, if you in your head are telling yourself you want to go to the gym, but you're not actually getting up and going and getting to the gym, bro, you need to get up and go to the gym, bro. You being lazy, you being a bum, you being unmotivated, you being cornball, you feel me? Like, get up and go do that shit bro i promise you it's gonna it's gonna make your life so much more better you're gonna have something positive that you're doing within your routine every single day like don't be lazy bro even if i smoke before i go to the gym people be saying oh i can't because i smoke too much like i, I be too lazy i be bro it's a mental game if you're weak-minded i understand that but if you're a strong-minded person you're gonna do whatever you put your mind to bro same way i've been saying i'm gonna move on this youtube shit on live whatever i be saying i'm gonna move soon to a crib i'm gonna move soon into my crib you feel me like i'm just stacking i'm saving up my homie i'm waiting on my homie so we can move get this crib you feel me and start getting this shit going but like when it comes to the gym y'all are just being lazy bro you need to get your ass up and go lift them weights i don't really see no point in gatekeeping anything bro because when it comes down to it like we all supposed to share everything bro except for money obviously you're not gonna let nobody know how much you make in a month or whatever but when it comes to clothes, bro, why not help somebody out and like help somebody find something that you're looking for? Or when it comes to enhancing somebody's body, why not put somebody onto something? You feel me? Like I'm a real ass nigga, bro. I'm finna put somebody onto something if I feel like they need it or they could use it to benefit themselves. Like I'm not a greedy, what's it called? Greedy person, I guess. Selfish. That's selfish. I feel like people who gatekeep low key selfish. Like you just don't. I mean, if you're trying to go copy me, it's different. But when it comes to protein powder and stuff like that, bro, like come on. I'm gonna put y'all on, bro. I'm gonna help y'all out. You feel me? We off in the game. Look, y'all. So you know I'm not playing. Jimmy John's is right there. GNC is right here, bro. We lit. No cap. Oh God, there it go right there, yo. Yeah, buy one. What they got? They got a deal going on right now. Look. Buy two, get one free. Yes, sir. This is the creatine. This is the creatine y'all gotta go get, bro. I'm about to show you guys the protein powder right now. So this is the protein powder I get. You can obviously get any flavor, but I get cookies and cream. Right there, y'all. 100% whey protein. We got the bulk too. The bulk. You gotta get the bulk one right there. 1340. Right here. This is the one I was looking for. That's what y'all gotta get, bro. Hey, bro. Comment down below if y'all have ever got waxed before. They got a European wax center here. What in the hell, bro? Bag secured though. I got the creatine. But I didn't get any protein powder because I already have some. But I put y'all on. So y'all let me know if y'all finna get some. This is probably the most white people shit I've ever seen in my life, bruh. What the hell they got going on, bro? Taking a goddamn family family picture in front of the... Hell, nah. Could not be me, bro. I could not be posted up smiling in front of a goddamn red wagon, bruh. A giant one at that, like... <laughs> that's that white people shit, bro. I promise you, bro. Ain't even no racist shit. I'm just... You know how we be, bro. We be on y'all ass about doing that crazy shit. Like, y'all like camping and shit like that. Like, it's crazy. I'm half white. I'm half black. Don't get me wrong. I'm half and half. I'm not full black. But I don't be on that white people shit. Trust me. Like, I grew up <laughs> not doing that white people shit. <laughs> y'all, this is the parking garage where I be taking all my content, man. I be going to that top floor and I just be filming a bunch of content as much as I can. Oh, God. 
Look, I'm pulling in right now, bruh. It be active here, no cap. But this is the only nice place in this city that I can come to get content done. Like, there's no other places. And this is a low-key spot, too. Like, you got to pay to get in here. I be finessing, but you know the vibe, bruh. I mean, sometimes I be having to pay, but it's on, like, a 30-minute timer. <sighs> hey. BMW. Nice BMW. And then we got a Nissan. Damn. I was going to show you guys uh, my clothes and stuff. I actually might still. I Actually, I am going to show you guys my clothes. I'm going to get them all out for you. And I'm going to show you guys what I got dropping here soon. For those of you guys who don't know, I own a clothing brand. For those of you guys who do know, now you all know, I'm going to be dropping this month. So make sure you click the link in my bio and join the VIP list so that you guys can be the first to know when we drop and get new discounts and get early access to the new drops and stuff. But I'm gonna show you guys my clothes and then I'm gonna show you guys me doing this little TikTok real quick. I don't even know if I can show you because I gotta record it on my phone. Well, I could, I guess, but record this TikTok real quick and then I'll show you guys my clothes and show you guys what I got coming up here soon. Now after this, I gotta go to the gym. Yo, those people are still over there at that wagon, bro. But I'm up in the parking garage right now. You see how it says public parking? We just looking at people down there, but I'm in the parking garage right now. I'm about to take this uh, video real quick for the outfit, and then I'm gonna show you guys what I put all over the ground. I'm gonna show you guys my clothes and stuff like that. All right, y'all, I just recorded the little uh, TikTok I was making. I'm about to make one more because why not? You feel me? I got a few accounts, so I'm gonna post on those accounts, but this is all I do, look. I be in the car like this, then I just get out. I set the camera right here. all it is man it's so loud bro damn they cleaning right here it's not like they fucking cleaning all right y'all i'm gonna show you guys a few details of what we got going on with these mohair sweatsuits uh basically it's 100 all mohair the inside is like a sweater so if you guys have any sweaters at home it's not itchy, I promise you. It's not itchy. This mohair is not itchy. It's really, really soft and comfortable, to be honest. I'm not even trying to sell y'all nothing. I'm being so realistic. I wear these all the time, and they're not itchy. Let me show you guys the details right now. If you guys fuck with them, click the link down below. If you don't, then you don't. You feel me? It's not for everybody. All right, so first off, we got black, pink, and red. We got three different colorways, you feel me? We got hats to match and go with 1%, 1%, PL, we got the PL on the wrist, you see that? Same logo, same logo, right? So there's a view detail. We got a YKK zipper, which is a great zipper. It won't get caught, none of that. It won't get caught, it's a great zipper. We got this, which is inside, it's chanel inside the hood, so it's not gonna like wash off or none of that. It's part of it, you feel me? We got drawstrings on all colorways. Drawstrings on the pants on all colorways. And then we also have back pocket on the right side. You know, some girls like pockets, some don't. Some guys like pockets, some don't. So we did one instead of two. And then we got a hat for each set. These are suede hats. These aren't regular hats, y'all. Premium suede hats. Look at that. They fire, bruh. Snap back so they're adjustable all size. You feel me? It fits anybody hot, anybody's head. If you got a big head, it's gonna fit. You got a small head, it's gonna fit. Uh, you can buy these separately. So if you just want the pants, you can cop the pants. If you just want the jacket, you can cop the jacket. If you just want the hat, you can cop the hat. If you want it all together, it's gonna be cheaper, you feel me? Obviously, cause it's gonna be a little bundle deal. But if you guys wanna cop all these, they're gonna be on my link down below this month. So make sure you go cop. Sign up for the VIP list, link in bio. Well, not link in bio, but link down in the description. We got people passing by, y'all. Peeping the clothes, peeping the drip, no cap. Now that's marketing for real. <laughs> if It would be crazy marketing if I was hanging it off the damn edge, like, hey, look at this shit. But nah, I'm about to uh, create some TikTok content real quick, pack these up, then I gotta head to the gym real quick because I gotta go to my little brother's basketball practice in an hour. 
I coach for his little uh, fourth grade basketball team, the AAU team. So I got to go to that, make sure I show up. You feel me? Uh, but yeah, I'm about to film these real quick and then I'll show you guys what they look like when I'm done. All right, y'all, I just got done making the TikToks and shit. Now I got to put everything back in the box. So I'm going to put y'all on this tripod real quick. And I'm going to show y'all me putting everything back in the box, because why not? You feel me? Y'all can just see what it, this stuff looks like, I guess. Tripod right here, just like this. So I'm going to set y'all right up in here real quick. Forty-five and a twenty-five. We repping this shit, bro. We repping this shit. Yeah. Y'all gotta get in that gym, bro. The pump becomes addicting. Leveling up yourself becomes addicting. Oh, okay. Man, I hope that nigga fall off, bro. Imagine he getting pulled and the dog's just like, yeah, let's go this way. Yink, got him. Wife. Wife beaters are called wife beaters because you beat your wife. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being for real. That's actually why they call them wife beaters. Because men used to beat their wives when they wear them. Isn't that crazy? They used to? Yeah. That's why they're called wife beaters. Oh, that's sad. I know. For girls, anyways. I know. Unless you're going against a WWE superstar. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, y'all, we just pulled up to Walmart, you feel me? I'm playing. <laughs> All right, man, we just got to Walmart. I'm finna go inside and grab what I need to grab. You feel me? <laughs> man, we looking for these wife beaters right now. I think they're over here, this way, this way. We looking for these wife beaters right now. My man, Case, say what's up to the vlog. What up? <laughs> he finna go, uh, wait, this way. Or, yeah, over here. He finna go look at toys after this. We gonna go look at some toys. Oh, this shirt kinda tough. Dragon Ball Z. Demon Slayer. Dragon Ball Z. Kyle like that. Oh, the other one was yeah. Demon Slayer? Yeah. Alright, they're in one of these two. You right guys. That's why you. Those are underwear. Oh, that's underwear? That's underwear. Those are wife beaters. Those are white. We're looking for black ones, yeah. Oh. Black wife beaters. I I think. Oh, it's because they have them in the. No, it's her. Oh yeah, nah. They're right here, I think. Yeah, they're in this pack. I need a size small. Right here. Actually, can you do me a favor? Yeah. Can you check the back of my thing? This one that I'm wearing. Wait, the white thing? Yeah. I see no tag. It has like... Uh, is it in like the inside? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, can I take it out and see? Hold on. I'm about to just look. See how big it is. Boy, gonna go look at toys soon. Yeah. 
Why are underwear for men yeah, so I can big? Do this. I can do this. Why are underwear for men so big? It'll be big, man. <laughs> His bonds hanging out. No, look at his. What the heck? He got one. <laughs> All right, we got the white beaters. Now we need conditioner and that, which is up the front. So we can go to your toys. Yeah. Where's your toys at? Mm -hmm. uh, these are groceries. So they're definitely on this side. Dang, so I only got three black white beaters in here, y'all. It's still decent, though, because, I mean, you get three white. I mean, three black, three gray. I just don't wear the gray ones because I sweat so much. It shows, uh, it shows up on my clothes. Hey, there's WWE. Oh yeah, I'm yeah. trying to go look at that WWE. Yeah. Let's see it, man. Let's see it. Do you think they have it here? These are these are all scooters and stuff. Let's look over here. Cause WWE at the end over there, but I only saw the people. Oh, it is down here? I didn't see him at all. We might be able to find them. Oh, they're hidden. Oh, yeah. They're hidden, yeah. Okay, dope. I right, appreciate you, man. Yeah. We found them. Let's go, Case. All right, you want to look at them? They have different ones. Those are tag team belts. That boy know all the belts. So you probably want a championship belt, right? Or, and then there's a SmackDown. Oh, shoot. Yes. Well, what do you want? I'm going to Pick one. It. We got... What? Um, that one's tough. This one? Yeah, that one's tough, but... What are these? These are tag team. Oh, yeah. So that's for like two people. Yeah. So you've been doing that one or this one? <sighs> Um, that one. The the winning one, championship belt. Uh, yeah. Is that what it's called? No, the world. Uh, Let me I see. This is the WWE championship. Okay, yeah, that way late. You're gonna go home and put that on real quick. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Let's get it. What do you say? Thank you. Yes, sir. All right, y'all. We got the underwear. He's got the WWE belt in his hand. And next, I gotta find these sweats that I have on right now, cause. They're getting too small for me, so I need to find a bigger size. It's about to be summer, so they might not have them out anymore. There's a bunch of shorts over here. You can wear these. Hell no. <laughs> Those are super long. You can wear giant shorts. Oh, they have sweats over here, actually. Oh, wait, what are those? Those are joggers, though. She said right around the corner to the left. Is she talking about this area? Cause I don't see no sweats like this over here, man. She had a little attitude too, bro. And she was on her phone. Huh? Oh. All right, y'all, we back at the crib. While I was at Walmart, my camera had died. So I'm back up and running. We got three pair of mohairs over here. If y'all trying to cop, hit the link in my description. You feel me? Three pairs left, literally. These are the last three pairs ever until we reset, uh, restock. So tap in. But this is a shirt I got right here, one of them, just an oversized white tee. It literally just has random stuff on it, but I like to keep it simple. It's a uh, it's a loose fit, loose fit from H&M, you feel me? Simple tee. We got this Nike oversized t-shirt, loose fit also right here. It's super good quality, bro. Y'all can just tell. Super good quality, thick, regular white t-shirt, y'all. These are just regular white tees, all right? They're like, this was $45, this was $25, and this was $10, I think, so... Just some regular white tees. And then I got these right here. I got some beanies. This one right here was folded, but I unfolded it so that I can wear it big. I like when my beanie's a little bit big and like droops down and looks crunchy. I don't know. I don't like my beanie tight on my head. You feel me? Then I got one of these right here. It's a mohair beanie. It's like a fuzzy beanie kind of. It's pretty cool. I don't know. I like it. And then I got these fuzzy masks. They're like they're like hoodies. They're like hoodies that you can wear with a t-shirt or like a crew neck or something. I got a white one and a black one because they were like 10 bucks each. So that's like 40 bucks right there, 80 bucks right here. Uh, and then these were 40 each, these jeans. Look at these jeans, y'all. I want to gatekeep. These are some baggy jeans, bro. They're both super baggy. Here's these ones. 
And then here's these. I want to gatekeep, but I'm not going to gatekeep because I just said I don't gatekeep. These are also from H&M. These are from the women's section, y'all. The women's section be having the baggy drip, I promise. Like, I just found this out, so I'm going to put y'all on. The women's section, y'all got it. <clears throat> so these right here, we got some wife beaters, you feel me? I need black. I don't know why Hanes has not came out with the all black pack yet. They are tripping. They know everybody likes black or white. No one is messing with the gray wife beaters no more, bro. I promise you. Then I got the creatine, as y'all saw. This is great for building your muscle with fluids. If you guys struggle with eating, I... I really recommend you should go get this, to be honest. Only if you're working out and trying to work out and stay consistent, get this. But if you're inconsistent with things, don't get this because it's not good for you. If you're just taking it here and there, it's not going to do anything. You got to be super consistent every day, two times a day type shit. Then I got this conditioner. I'm going to try it. It's new. It smells really good and it looks really healthy. It's got vitamin E and it looks pretty decent, to be honest. I looked at the ingredients. Where is it at? Right here. The ingredients really aren't that bad. A lot of stuff contains alcohol, y'all, so that's normal, but it's hard to find stuff. But these are plant-based ingredients, so this should be a whoops. This should be a good conditioner, to be honest. Y'all go check it out if y'all fuck with it. I'll let you know how it is, to be honest. And then you guys have probably seen this on TikTok shop, but they had these at Walmart. And I already have plastic ones, but I have to re-up on my plastic ones. And these ones used to hurt my tongue, but I never had this brand, so I'm going to low-key try it. I got this at Walmart, too. Make sure your breath ain't stinking no more. Like, if you ain't trying to have no stink breath, get this and floss and mouthwash and brush your teeth, and you will be good. But, yeah, y'all, that's everything I got today. I got to ship out a package tomorrow morning. It's getting pretty late tonight. So, in the morning, I'm going to ship out a package for Duke Dennis. I got to send one to his P.O. box. I'm going to send him a pair of these Mo hairs right here. Hopefully, he posting them. I be texting with him on Instagram. I got his PO, so I'm going to send that to him. And then, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do after this, but this is everything I got today. Comment down below what y'all think. Let me know if y'all fucking with the little, the little drip we copped today. It's super simple drip, but it's going to be tough. You feel me? I'm going to be able to put fits together with all these pieces. But, yeah, bro, I need to go make this protein shake. I'll low-key show you guys what I put in my protein shake so I can put y'all on. If you guys are making protein shakes at home and you don't know what to put in there, I'm going to help you out and put you on right now with the perfect ingredients for the best protein shakes. So let's get into that. All right, y'all, first I'm gonna eat these eggs with this apple. Maybe might make me like a little piece of toast. Then I'm gonna show y'all how I make the protein shake. It's really self-explanatory. All the stuff I just showed you, I throw up in a blender with some almond milk, some ice, and the rest of the ingredients, and I just blend it up, drink it, you straight. As you guys just saw, I got a uh, package I gotta send out to Duke Dennis from AMP. He uh, DM me back on Instagram when I asked him for his PO box and he sent me his information, so. I'm going to be sending him out a pair of these pants that I recently dropped and am restocking here soon in sets. So for those of you guys watching this video, if you guys like matching sweatsuits, I know it's getting kind of hot out, but you can wear the jacket and the sweats separately, but you can also wear it together. It's not too hot yet. I mean, it's hot in some places, but in others, it's still kind of relatively chilly. You feel me? So uh, if you want to, you guys can copy if you want down below. I'm going to come out with some summer shit here soon too, like tees and stuff, but uh Got to go send this to Duke Dennis. We got the package right here. Y'all, yeah, I just seen a lady in a wheelchair struggling to get outside the place where I take my uh, packages, right? And I was just thinking to myself, like, damn, bro, like, well, some of us are really, like, like, really, what's the word? I don't even know what to say. Like, we should just be really grateful, bro. Be really grateful if you can walk, bro. Like, 
dead ass. Be grateful you can breathe. Be grateful that you can do all these things, bro. Like, a lot of people forget in life, bro. We forget, like, the shit that we actually have that doesn't cost money that we should be grateful for, bro. Like, I always forget that. Like, especially when we're sick. You know when you get sick and, like, you're like, damn, I wish I wasn't sick. Like, I, I miss being, like, normal. That's because you weren't grateful of how good it was to actually be able to breathe before you got sick you feel me so start start really like being more grateful in life and start just having more gratitude towards things like if you're mad because something bad happened be grateful of all the things that you have already you feel me like if, if you don't get a job be grateful you got a house or if you don't have a house be grateful you're alive like shit like that bro like i don't know obviously everybody's situation could be way better and we all want more for ourselves and for everybody else but with what we have, bro, you just got to be cool with what you have and just be grateful and just work hard, work smart towards what you guys want to get in life. You feel me, bro? Too many people in this generation are ungrateful. That's why everybody wants so much more in life. That's why everybody wants, like, just, ah, you know what I'm saying? Everybody wants so much more, bro, and nobody is ever enough for anybody in this generation because everybody wants so much more of what they see on social media. Social media is not real, bro. Social media is all false reality. Nigga, bro, we was just driving. Everybody had to hit their fucking brakes, bro. Somebody just got in a wreck. Everybody was hitting their brakes, bro. Appreciate you letting me over. Nigga, that shit was crazy. This shit just happened, bro. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Look our boat, though. God damn. bro holy shit i look you wasn't paying attention bro i was looking over off to the side and i look up i see everybody going side to side on this freeway i'm like oh shit i pressed the brakes bro i almost get rear-ended so i had to pull in the middle like in the middle of the lane bro it was crazy what the fuck hey make sure y'all be grateful you alive nigga fuck. be grateful that you can walk all that bro i almost got in a car accident because a few cars ahead of me just got in a wreck bro imagine if it was just a domino effect and everybody was just holy crap good thing i got a good reaction time because bro i don't know what would have happened that shit was crazy yo make sure y'all stay safe out there bro stay safe this dude got a cyber truck bro hold on let me flip a bit bro this dude got a whole cyber truck That's crazy, bruh. Look at him. You got the cyber truck, man. What?